Recently I learned about an absolutely harrowing moment in Poland's tumultuous history, the Warsaw Uprising, a time where so many Polish people lost their life in the most horrific way. I am ashamed that I never knew much about it, uh, but I have learned about it and I can only hope that people from outside Poland can learn about it and really understand what the Polish people and Poland as a country went through during that time. Now, on that video, one of my viewers recommended this video. They told me it's footage of the Legia Warsaw fans, the football team, uh, having a display about the Warsaw Uprising. So, I'm a huge football fan, I love football. I already know of Polish football fans being very passionate. Uh, the Legia Warsaw fans especially being just a great fan base. Uh, and yeah, I want to see what their display about the Warsaw Uprising was. So tell me if you've seen this before. Tell me what you think about Legia Warsaw as a team and their fan base. Let's watch this. Yeah, this is from Le Legia dot net so yeah go subscribe to their channel also and tell me what team you support if you're from Poland okay let's see so we've got a, a banner here during the Warsaw uprising Germans killed a hundred and sixty thousand people thousands of them that were children that's what I learned on that video. So many young people lost their lives during that time. The scouts of Poland who fought against the Germans. So brave these young people of Poland, male and female. Oh, it's disgraceful. A, a, a horrible time. But look at the, the stadium is packed and that is a strong message. Remembering those children as well as the whole 160,000 people. Wow. <laughs> Listen to that noise. Oh, there's people up there. Never seen it. Is that like a German soldier uniform? Listen to the noise. Look at that image. I've seen a lot of like displays like this at football matches, a lot of TIFO. This is one of the most striking images I've ever seen. I've never seen this before, I'm sure. Whenever this match was, this maybe went viral or something like that, but I've never seen it. That is a an absolutely striking, strong image. You've got here we've got a German soldier with a gun to a young child's head? Is this based on a real photograph? Whoa. It's actually frightening. You can actually see the fear in this child's eyes, in his face. Whoa. A gun to the head.
Okay, wow. I didn't want to stop it there because I don't know what that song was. I don't know if that was a Legia song or if that was like the Polish national anthem or something. Tell me what song that was, what chant they were singing because everybody was singing with everything they've got. Like it was so powerful, so moving. Uh, let's just go back to the image there. Whoa, well, got the Polish flag, the 1944, the year, of course. I'm just absolutely stunned by this image. I've seen a lot of, as I said, a lot of displays at football matches, usually for the team, whatever. This is such an important image for such an important time in Polish history. Something so shocking that happened in Poland. And this is such an important way to bring attention to it, to not just people from Poland, but people from outside Poland, other football fans, people who want to learn about history. It's just that child's face. I can see the fear, the terror in his face. It's, it's scary, this bold message. I mean, you've got to give respect to those Legia Warsaw fans for pulling something like this off, the size of it, the complexity of this TIFO, the noise they were singing in unison together. I was actually getting goosebumps watching that. It was really that, like, it gave, it gave that much feeling to me. Uh, so, yeah, tell me what you think about that. Yeah, I need to check out more from other Polish football fans as well. Uh, but tell me what you think about that display in particular and tell me what you think about the Legia fans. Thanks.